My name is Katie Phillips. I'm a psych major and I'm a sophomore this year. I mean, it's a lot of work to do for sure, like a science major or minor, either one are both really difficult. And then there's a lot of research and things involved with psychology. So the combination of the two of them gives me a pretty broad like spectrum of things that I can work with, but it also is a lot of pressure. Well, I sing. That's like always been my thing throughout high school and everything. I was in show choir and jazz choir and all of that. So I've always really been into performing. And I have a lot of friends that are in the theater department. And they were like, hey, you should come out and try out for these student-directed things. Matt especially wanted me for this specific part. So I came out and tried out, and it turns out I'm kind of good at it. I know, like, I spend time doing homework, like, during the day, which is not a thing that I used to do. I used to always do it at night, but with, you know, this play, I have rehearsals and stuff, and it gets tiring, and I need to, like, actually sleep now. Like, last year, I didn't really do anything at all, so um, it's different, for sure, that I have to spend time during the day doing homework and, like, thinking about class stuff so that later I can work on performance things. My character's name is Chastity, and she is a prostitute. It's, like, conflicting for sure, just because, obviously, like, I'm a 20-year-old white girl from Iowa. Like, I don't know about prostitution and things like that. So I've done, I actually did some research. I've watched videos and YouTube and movies to kind of inspire me as how a prostitute would act and things like that. But it's, it's definitely been a difficult thing for me to do. And, like, it's set, the play is set in Nova Scotia in like I think the 80s and so Eli this guy that runs the lighthouse calls her and she shows up but he's not totally into it for a variety of reasons he's I don't know I guess you would say kind of shy they talk about at one point that he's like a virgin but she's trying to get her money but also at the same time she cares for Eli because he's nice to her And so since he treats her like a human, she doesn't want to take advantage of him and just, like, take his money. But also, obviously, it's her job, and so she's supposed to get this money. For me, like, I almost connected with Eli's experience more than with Chastity's, just because she's kind of manipulative in a way. But as we've gone through practices, I kind of have noticed, like, she's manipulative because that's what she has to do. But there is a part of her that really cares about what happens to Eli and how he feels about things and the fact that he is so lonely and I think that last ending part where you know he's talking about how he has no one and he lost his only friend and it's really sad and she's like she wants to stay there but at the same time she has a job to do and so she the conflict there is I think the part that has always spoken to me the most personally. For part of it like When I came into this, I was thinking about how we would do it for entertainment purposes. We're there to get put on a show. As we've gone through the script and really looked at it more and talked about character development and motivations and things like that, I think that I've felt like there's a message. And I even now I'm not totally clear on what it is. There's a human connection and the things that are happening matter. They say something. And so I think for me, it turned less into you know, a performance and just doing it to entertain. And it's been more like a let's show people emotions and like an actual thing that matters.